we have a question about angles, and I know there are already some answers here, but with geometry, it's always, I find it's best to have a picture. It's, just, it's such a visual uh, a topic in math that having some written out answers just wouldn't be, for me, satisfying. Uh, so I would like to answer this with some pictures just to you know be clear about what's happening. So we only have one um, known angle measure. So I'm gonna start by putting down what uh, measure three looks like. Um, if this is 90 and this is 45, then uh, 56 degrees is something like this. All right, so here we have, um, we have measure three, which is equal to 56 degrees. And now we know uh, several other things. We know that angles two and three are complementary, and angles one and two are vertical, are vertical angles. Well, we don't know anything about one and two, but we do know something about two and three. Two and three are complementary. Now, complementary angles, we know, add up to 90 degrees. And so if two and three add up to 90 degrees, well, if this is measure three, this will, if this is angle three, then angle two will be this angle, whatever, whatever this ends up being, this will be angle two. But we know that two plus three equals 90. So this becomes angle two. So this is angle two, which we know is equal to 90 minus 56. So we know that measure of angle two is equal to 90 minus 56 is 34. And now finally, we know that, measure, that uh, angle one and angle two are vertical angles. And so vertical angles are congruent. They are basically the same angle, but on opposite sides of each other. And so here we have angle one, and, oops, angle one. And we know that angle one, or the measure of angle one, equals the measure of angle two, because they're vertical angles, which means that measure of angle one is equal to 34 degrees. There you go, with pictures.